Hey everybody and welcome back to another Barricadeer video. Now I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, however, they are back again. So is he though. We're here on the Pluto Relay, the uh, Orcus Relay. Let's go check out his inventory for PC. I have great taste. Thank you very much, Burrow. So we're going to start off with cosmetics like we normally do. The Mirage Immortal skin. Brand new this time around. It looks really, really cool. I like it quite a bit. It really looks like it's playing on that sort of Harlequin theme that Mirage has. I think this is definitely well worth picking up while it's here. It's quite expensive for the ducats, 550. 100,000 credits isn't too bad, especially when you've got double credits this weekend. But I actually like it quite a bit. I haven't picked it up yet, so I'm going to do it right now. Job done. I like it a lot. I think it's definitely worth picking up. So, yeah, as you can see, it's got that sort of like... Harlequin look about her. She reminds me always like of the Harlequins from Warhammer 40k of the uh, the Elder. So yeah, we've got the Prisma Jet Sentinel wings, which is actually something I like quite a bit. I don't use them on my uh, carrier anymore, but I used to use them all of the time. They're pretty cool looking. So if you like stuff for your Sentinel, then I would go for that. It's uh, 300 ducats, though, 200,000 credits. It's quite expensive, but uh, I like them quite a bit, and if you like making your Sentinel look cooler, they definitely go pretty well. Same with the Prisma Koi Sentinel tail. It's on the uh, on the back there. Again, what I, it's what I used to use. I used to use this and the Jet Sentinel wings on my carrier before I started using the Kavat stuff. I like it quite a bit. 200 ducats, 200,000 credits. It's here in this rotation again if you want to grab it. Prisma Mech Head Sentinel Mask, not one of my favourites, but it's here, it works quite well on stuff like uh, Helios, uh, anything sort of mechanical it works quite well on. I'm not a big fan of it myself, but if you want it, it's 175 ducats and 200,000 credits. The Atomos Diadem is also here, this is actually not bad looking. Um, I, can't, I think when it originally came out I wasn't too much of a fan, uh, but actually now I look at it, it's actually not bad looking at all, I don't mind it. Um, I'm not too sure about the uh, the sort of diamond projection out of the front. I think if it had that, I uh, it didn't have that. I think I would like it way more. But if you like making your operator look cooler, this is quite expensive. 525 ducats is not small. Neighbors to 375,000 credits. So I think you're gonna have to like it quite a bit if you're gonna want to pick this up. However, it's in this rotation if you want it. The Prisma Yamako Sindana. Not one that I like or use. Um, I just think it. I don't think it suits like anything anymore. Um, it's kind of odd. Uh, I used to use it all the time. The old old Yamako, uh, not even the Prisma version. The old Yamako I used to use a lot. But I I just think as the Sindanas have sort of progressed, I think there's way way cooler ones out there, and I just think that this poor poor one has got left behind. Not that it's bad looking. Like I like the Prisma effects down the bottom here. I'd say it's worth picking up, though. Uh, it's a free Sindana. Well, I say free. 400 ducats and 250,000 credits. Still kind of expensive, but it is effectively a free Sindana. Um, and if you're a collector, then it's worth picking it up just for, like, expanding your collection, pretty much. We've also got the Pyrus and Gartra. Not a fan of Sugartras, because a lot of them, they're in kind of odd places, and it kind of is... For me, it's kind of distracting. I don't know why. I just find them really, really distracting, and they don't actually really add a lot for me. However, it's here if you like your dangly bits on your melee weapons. 100 ducats, 200,000 credits for this dangly fire thing from your weapon. And then I think this is... No, we've got one more in terms of the uh, cosmetics. But this is the Prisma Lizette skin. Absolutely incredible looking skin. I would totally recommend picking this up. If you can only pick up like one cosmetic this time around, I would make it this. Like even with the, uh, the Harlequin, sorry, the Mirage Immortal skin, I'd totally worth like I'd, I'd say it's worth picking this up. Uh, look at the Prisma effects and just that base color. Uh, I don't know what it is. Like dark. I'm gonna say dark purple. You might uh, wanna correct me in the comments what it is, but it looks absolutely incredible. I love this skin. That sort of metallic sheen that it's got. Incredible. I love it. Uh, I'd say it's definitely worth picking that up. And then we got the Nexus Gene Masking Kit, which is uh, actually the pattern I used to use on my Kavats all the time, in fact. 
Yeah, no, before the uh, one I got from Cetus, this is the one I use all the time. Um, and it comes with white, blue, red and purple um, for actually colouring your cabat. I think it looks really, really nice. It's a really cool pattern. So if you like making your cabat look cool, 200 ducats, 300,000 credits, I'd say it's worth it. Moving on to the actual sort of physical stuff this time around, Prime Fever Strike. Brilliant, brilliant mod for melee. I totally worth. Uh, I'd say this is totally worth like picking up. 250 ducats, 200,000 credits. It's quite expensive, as you would expect. It's a prime mod, but I use this actually quite a bit on my melee weapons. It is a huge damage boost, um, uh, especially if you're using corrosive or viral or uh, or gas. Like this is a very, very, very useful mod. Then we got the Prime Bane mods, Prime Bane of Infested, Prime Bane of Corpus, Prime Bane of Grenier, and Prime Bane of Corrupted. These are kind of situational, um, not everybody uses them, in fact I don't think many people use them. So if you don't have the ducats for everything you want this time around, these are the ones you could actually save on. They really only work on very specific builds, like if you're going into the void specifically for like, I don't know, maybe an endurance run or like a few hours of of uh, survival against the void enemies. Prime Bane of Corrupted might do you some good. If you've got a, a Riven that's boosting Grenier damage like I do with my Hind, sticking an extra Prime Bane of Grenier in there and make it a Grenier specific weapon can work out really, really well. But these mods are not ones that people use very often, so I think if you can, if you if you want to save some ducats this time around, this is probably where you can do it. Then we've also got the Machete Wraith. Machete Wraith is here. This used to be absolutely bloody awful. It used to be one of the worst weapons in the game. But when they introduced the new stance for the the uh, for the machetes, it actually really like converted the. <laughs> They just made it made the whole um, class actually worth it again. And additional status procs during the uh, during the actual combos meant that the uh, condition overload actually made machete wraith. And the private vandal, the gazelle machete, actually made them good because you can actually stick condition overload on there and get a decent buff from them. So it's actually worth picking this up now. 410 ducats, 250,000 credits for an old school event weapon. And the Wraith weapons are colourable now, so you can make them look like your frame. I, I think it's I think it's worth picking up. It's and I mean at the very least it's mastery, so you might as well, right? Same thing with Prisma Shade. I'm not a huge fan of Shade, I don't use him very often, but I know I do know some people that do. Um and this is just a, a an upgraded version of Shade. More health, more armor, more shield. Uh it's definitely worth picking up if you like your shade. Five hundred ducats or a thousand credits. Even if you don't like your shade though. Uh, if you don't like shade in general, it's still mastery, so you may as well grab it and pick it up, right? It's 6,000 mastery on its own because it's a companion. Worth picking it up, worth maxing it out and grabbing those mastery points, even if you're not a fan of shade. And then the other new thing that came this time around, Corrupted Heavy Gunner Spectre. Now, I'm going to say, I, I'm saying it's new. I don't think it's been here before because I don't remember it at all. But I think this is new this time around. Heavy Gunner Spectres are huge, like, it's going to be a huge damage output. I often use uh, these sort of huge damage output Spectres on long runs in events and stuff like that. Um, I've got the Bombard, the, the other one you get is like the Bombard with the Shield Drone. Um, this would actually work fantastically. If you're going to throw out a Bombard with Shield Drone plus a Corrupted Heavy Gunner Spectre, those would actually work really, really well together and... If you keep scaling with the like the level of the mission that you're doing, they would actually do like put out a huge amount of damage whilst also being really really tanky. So I'd say it's worth picking these up while they're here. Hundred ducats and four hundred thousand credits. A hundred ducats is actually kind of expensive because it's not a re it's not a reusable thing. It's like a one and done. So, but I'm gonna I'm actually gonna buy ten because why not? And then I'm going to get them built, and they're now going to be ready for whenever I want to use them for an event. So that's actually Barrow's inventory this time around. Um, there's some good stuff in there. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, the console stuff um, to be able to talk to you about this week. However, hopefully in the future I'll be able to get that back and going again. Uh, I'll have videos on the new augments coming up very, very soon. But for now, many thanks for watching, and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks everybody, bye bye.